Yo, what's up guys? So uh, today I'll show you how to do VFX. So I'll show you how to make this and if we get this done very fast, I'll make a slash as well. So let's get started. Let's do that. Alright, so you start off like this. Then you want to do shift A. Then you want to do mesh. And then you want to do UV circle. UV sphere, I mean. Alright. So now I have this sphere, sphere, dude, I can't say that. Um, now you want to go into modifiers down here and here, and then you want to do vertex weight edit. Now from here, you want to go into here, into the vertex section, then you want to press alt, then press a to get everything uh, selected. So if we press something else, a, and then we want to do plus. And then you want to do a sign. Make sure that everything is selected while you press the sign. Then go into the wrench again. Then press pr then press group. And then press fall off. And make a custom curve. Now take this up. Take this down. Now make a new mask texture. Then press this button. And clouds. And that should be good. Oh, I completely forgot to do that. Um, and then now you can put this on global. Now make sure you have that. And then another modifier. And you choose mask. Then you choose the same vertex group. And then you press tab so you can see what you're deleting. And you can see everything gets deleted slowly. So now you have this. You should have this. If you don't have this, redo uh, the steps uh, and get it uh, so it looks like this, kind of. Now press the smooth. And from here, you can take the factors up a little bit. Not the factors, I meant the repeat. Uh, and you don't need to touch the vertex group. Uh, just do like this and maybe take the mask thres threshold a little bit down. And now press tab on it again. Press A, press right click, and do subdivide. Now we get a little more holes and yeah, a little more detail. So now we can add another modifier, and this time we want to do a simple deform. Now from here, we can make the angle 360. So now we get this like kind of VFX already, but let's choose Z, and now you can see it goes upwards. And we can scale a bit. And now if you go in here, you can see that it has no color. So let's give it a color. Make sure that bloom is enabled up here. So go to material properties. Make a new one. And press the surface. And then you want to press emission. Then you turn the strength a little bit up. And then let's choose like a pink color. Like this now you have some vfx and actually you could um edit it a little bit let's say that we want it to look a little bit different very quick way is just doing like this leading half just like uh play around with it and then we can scale it press s to scale and let's do let's press Z. And now we can get this effect. Um, don't know what you would use this for, but this is just an example of something quick. Uh, like you, you can do stuff like this so quickly, and it can look insane sometimes. So let's make the slash effect. Um, so first, what how I do it at least. Uh, don't do it. Uh, it like me. Uh, unless you don't want it to look like 100% um, like it should. So how I do it is actually uh, I take wait let me get back I need to remember so let's say you want to slash like this um, let me see if I can change the color I kind of like this uh, very simple um, so what you're going to do is, you can see it right there, 
if you take a Taurus, sorry, if you take a Taurus, and we scale it up, press S to scale, um, then you scale it on the Z, so it gets like this, flat, um, then you take half, you press up here, then you take half, so this section, delete, and delete vertices, so, yeah, uh, and then we take the whole thing, make a vertex group, and assign. Now let's take the modifier, vertex weight edit, press group, same thing, all off, like that. Now we already made the texture, so let's get that texture, press global. Uh, now let's take the mask again, and let's do the same thing. Now for this, let's subdivide it twice. So that's going to be very many triangles, and uh, not that many, but a bit. Um, of course, you can just not do it and get another result, but I'm going to do it. Um, and then you want to take simple deform, press send. And then you can do something like that. And each time you will get another result. That's a fun thing with this. You can see it looks not quite like the one I made last time. So, actually, let's change it a little bit. Like that. And of course, you can go into edit mode and change it however like that part should not be there then you can always delete and you could oh, that's my bad and then you could also delete that i think i pressed something wrong i definitely did Sorry about that. Alright, let's go back. And actually, we can do something cool. We can do, take this. And we could... Merge. So, by merging them and changing that a little bit. I didn't mean that. I meant that. And then... Move it on the Y. Now you can see that it gets merged. So instead of going out like this, it goes out like in a shot sense. And you can edit to however you like. You could use proportional editing to move it. Uh, there's so much stuff you can do. Um, but yeah, that's all up to you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. Very quick tutorial actually. Um, and yeah, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, uh, you can of course hit the like button and subscribe and yeah, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, see you in the next one.